my darling and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hello dear welcome back to my channel returning subscribers welcome back welcome to the back. channel so you guys we have a gorgeous a pretty damsel in the house yes hi guys and this is damsela and you're welcome back to the channel yeah <laughs> so guys today we'll be talking about something most people are guilty of something most people try to avoid talking about in their relationship or marriage and whatsoever so yeah which is is there really a limit to things you should tell your partner hmm. do you think there's a limit to it you know when you said most people are guilty of it i said <laughs> hello people i am hmm. here i am very guilty, guilty of it okay. because i would literally tell my partner everything wow and i mean every everything. single thing well that doesn't mean i feel like everybody should tell their partner everything yeah. because for me the reason why i do it is mm -hmm. because i want to have peace of mind i like being open so that um nobody can come and meet you to say your girlfriend did this, this, this that. or she did not do that or she mm -hmm. did that because yeah. even if i do something and I tell you, and you're already aware of it. If comes, anybody comes, you will look the person that is on a mumu. Yeah. You understand? That is why I do it. But then, if you're asking if there should be a limit, limit if there yeah. should be a limit, I would say yes. Okay. Even for somebody that tells you. Yeah. yeah. I think I would say yes. Okay. Well, for me, I feel like it depends on your <laughs> relationship with the person. If you guys are married, then I feel like there is no limit. Hmm. Even if. Maybe you stepped on something. Tell that person. What of your past? Well, your past. Yeah, I, if it's marriage, you should even tell the person before you guys get married. If it's your okay. past, if it's something you feel like that person should know about, something that maybe you feel when you guys are married and someone brings it up, it's going to bring problem for you guys. So it's better you tell him so that the person is aware that, okay, in the past you did this, this, this and that, and it's something you're not proud of. Mm -hmm. So... He is aware of it, so when someone comes to tell him, he just be like, "Oh, I know about that." If that person is in gossip, next time you will not even like to come and see him. So in a relationship, Uncle, you're saying in a relationship it depends. Please don't go and open your mouth and be telling somebody that in the next two years <laughs> the relationship will be over. This your mother will now be in the in market. Next six days. In, <laughs> in the next few days, no, everything but, has cast. But it no, is true. It see, yeah. believe me when I say, for somebody that tells her partner almost everything mm -hmm. i think everything the only thing i don't say are things that are irrelevant yeah like i bath or um no. uh, even that one i could tell her yeah or maybe i ah uh, or maybe you start telling me that maybe, maybe something your friend was here or how many boys came to your house how many girls came to your house like if there are people he already know like of course it's just not seriously true. but somebody that tells her partner everything i don't think it's advisable to Tell your partner everything, everything because some people i'm speaking from a female perspective because <laughs> i am a female some guys with disgrace mm, you know that's what they embarrass say you. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's they what they will say embarrass you. They, will embarrass you. they will embarrass you big time that's why see I i've told i've told that i've told someone i was dating yeah who's now an ex i've told someone i had dated that um, i told him some things about myself yeah. and it will shock you to know that there was one day he called me and he was asking me he was like um since this thing is like this how am i sure that you would not be like that yeah do you know that that's and another like, thing there, yeah. there are two things Hello. involved in this thing is it that you tell the person and that person feels like oh he can't trust you or you tell the person that so, i did to so and so in the past that person will now come to use it against, against you. you that is Something. the problem that is the problem that is the thing so i think to an extent because I'm trying to actually learn how to do, like, how to not tell my partner yeah, everything. Partner Believe me, I am really, really trying to minimize it to to a certain extent yeah. because uh, once between twice shine, because that person I told, because yeah. I like, I like, I will tell you everything, everything. like everything, everything, anything when you ask me, I will answer. Yeah. Do you understand? I, if I don't want you ask me, I will even tell you something yeah. because I just want to put it out there because I feel like. You're my partner, you are my 
um, significant mm -hmm. other other half even if we're not married and stuff yeah. I should be able to share everything with you like my best friend and yeah. stuff and that, but, that should build trust actually of course but, but it's just that when that person used that, that thing against me it yeah. became me like I was so, it wasn't like it no the, the, the thing is it's not even something I had done okay it is something about somebody else that I had said, but the person okay. is like related to me, to you. that I had said, and he was like, how sure are you that you yeah, will not be like that? that? And I'm like, hello, but sir. Wait, how? let's turn the table. How about friends? How about friends? Sorry, guys, in case you hear any noise in the background, it's raining. Yeah. So, how about, yeah, <laughs> how about girls? Like, should you tell your female friends, like, things about you? Like, your best friend, eh, uh -huh, bestie. Can you tell your best friend everything, like almost everything about you, your relationship, family, and stuff? Girls. Girl to girl. Yeah. Or guy to guy. Girl to girl. Um, see, it still depends. Okay. To me, I would say it's still the same thing. It depends on who the person is and how the person is. Mm -hmm. Then maybe for, um, to test the person, maybe you tell the person something. <laughs> In your example, something that even if the person says it, it will not hurt you, and see if the person would react or use it against you someday. But the thing is, you cannot even say when the person would want to use anything mm. against you. That's another thing. So, well, for your friends, it depends on the kind of friend you have. have yeah. There are some friends that see if we're not deceiving ourselves, eh? If we're not deceiving ourselves, we're not trying to deceive ourselves. There are some friends you have that you know they are lousy. Yes. Like you know, say if you tell them, you cannot. There are certain things you cannot they tell. Go, them. They will go tell. They will go tell another person. Like they're very lousy people. And what you even said plus what you did not say, they will add, add everything. They will help you. They will help you. And then, do you know one thing? Do you know why I asked you this question? Because girls have these things, right? Like let's be honest. Almost everybody does this thing. I will tell you something. I'll be like, please don't tell anybody. You go and tell your friend, and, and like, you tell her, please don't tell anybody. <laughs> that person will now go and tell somebody, and be like, please don't tell anybody. That's so, so you just play the thing with girls. Before you know, the matter of spread, yes. don't use government house. So I like telling my partner everything will be better than me telling my friend. To and that's if you have a partner that that's, is, um, as if you guys have gone far in it. Sometimes it's not how it's sometimes it's not it's not how someone who is reasonable, let's put yeah. a full stop to that. Huh? That is just someone who is reasonable. Yeah. There are some guys, see being reasonable does not come with an age tag or with an mm -hmm. age tag. It or doesn't. Because being reasonable doesn't come with an age. age tag or anything. Because there are some people that you would tell, there are some guys that that are like 30 something or 40 years old and you will tell them something about yourself and they will use them against you. And the way they will react is, and let's say for instance, like, let's say you cheat on your partner and then being that girlfriend that you feel, oh, I should actually tell him and apologize this and that. When I tell you, then you now be like, after I accepted the apology, you now come to tell me that, oh, I hope you are not doing this or especially when you are in a distance relationship. You get mm -hmm. like any little thing mm -hmm. now, he will now start suspecting you. Yeah. And then he calls you twice or thrice. I the next you. thing you'll be like, Where were you? You start interviewing you, and I feel like that's so annoying. Like, it's just something that I did, and I came to tell you about it, which means that it's something I'm hoping not to do again. So, I'm, I'm it's not and I like trust that's you not enough, my kind of person, and I yet. trust you enough to understand and. Find some way to let it go. Let you it cannot go. let it go. Tell me you cannot let it go. Don't stress your sister. Don't stress your sister. <laughs> so yeah. What else? I feel like so far that's just it. You should be able to tell your partner everything. And depending on, depending on the how relationship. Well. Exactly. And and depending, depending on, on how person. well you know the person. Yeah, depending on how well you know the person. So yeah. Guys, we've come to the end of this video. We do hope you enjoyed listening. Tell us what you think about this in the comment section. Do you think it will be okay for a girlfriend to tell her boyfriend everything or for a boyfriend? But we didn't even touch the guy's side. You know, guys, right? They like feeling like, oh, I'm the man, this yes. and that. There are some things I shouldn't tell my so wife. Yes, sir. You know, <laughs> there are men, even married men, they'll tell you that, go for it. I cannot share this with my wife. And I'm like, I don't understand. This is your wife. You guys took that vow on the altar to 
like what is the um for better for worse, for better for worse and whatsoever so you should be able to share everything with your wife but there are some men that will be like no there are some I'm certain the man. things that i shouldn't tell I'm my the wife adobu. <laughs> the man the man mm. why well done yes, men should <laughs> well done, also sir. share everything with their wives if it's in a relationship yeah you might be dating be some of these girls that are yeah, they don't I'm have it. Like you can share maybe your income. I feel like that's what most guys don't really like sharing. Their income. Yes, with their girlfriends. And then she uh, now gonna be how, opening her mouth. It depends on how friends. greedy the girl is. Yeah. Or how greedy the guy is the because guy it's is. both ways. Mm-hmm. I know some people that would say, Oh, um my husband makes more money than me or I make more money than my, yeah, husband. my husband and every time my husband is collecting my money. I feel maybe some guys or some people feel like uh, if they share that kind of information with their significant other, yeah. the other person might want to extort them. Yeah, and then sometimes when the woman earns more than the husband, I feel like he doesn't really try to open up to everything because I feel like it will not give her the room to disrespect him because she now feels oh uh, she's now the boss and whatsoever. Just for clarity's sake, not every woman that earns more than her husband or more than a man she's in a relationship with is going to is trying to raise shoulders and show say that. I'm a yeah. man. Hello, people. <laughs> female is female, male is male. Yeah. Leave it at that. Yeah. Okay. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Tell us your opinion in the comment section. Of and yeah. Bye. Have a nice day.